So this is the original railroad depot for Clarendon. It would have been on the Fort Worth to Denver City Railroad, which parallels US 287. In a minute here, we'll go inside, I'm trying to get a good angle for you here. Now the backlighting of the sun. There we go. Looks like there's been quite a bit of restoration on this building. Kept up very nicely. As you can tell, all of the chuck wagon stuff is going on. I've been told that it's going to be closed up here just shortly, so let's go inside and see what we can find. I'm inside the depot now. They're about ready to close it up. So I wanted to grab a little bit of footage while I'm in here. Oh, this old clock here. I wish I had an interpreter. Oh, it looks like it was a Santa Fe clock. Let's see. Railroad time clock donated by BNSF. Don't know if it was used for punching cards or what. Be nice to get an interpreter to talk about that. And we have a miniature train display. to shut this portion of the museum down due to the chuck wagon activities. There's an old Model T. It's very early model. And then here's a it's not really a buckboard buggy. No sorry top to it. Oh look at that broad axe. A rail splitter axe. Hmm. Square up logs. When Buster Bruce and I came to explore the museum, we never did make it over here. And this is a chuck wagon which was recently donated by the Brumley family. And it is going to have a special building constructed to house it, preserve it. Let me see if I can move around here so we can see the check box. Looks like this wagon has been refurbished. Bang. Not familiar with that wagon. It's a little bit tight in here, sorry for me. <laughs> 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 
scooch around so much. It's like an old church pew here. Doesn't seem to be any information to go along with that. Tapestry. Front of the wagon, we've got a lot of backlighting there. I was looking to see if there was a coffee grinder on here. Ah, oh, yes. There are fly poles there. I always like taking a look at the coffee grinders. All right, so I think there might be one other area here that we can take a look at before they shut us all down. I bet that was an original heater in this depot. What do you think? I think those benches might have been where people waited in the original depot. I don't know. And this is in the office area. Love that telephone there. Push to talk, at least to listen. So, <laughs> early manual version of a telephone. I don't even think it has a uh, crank to do the ringing. More than likely it works that in order to contact the operator. What do you think? And very high ceilings here. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. Oh, let's take a look at some of these photographs here if I can get them without much reflection. And there was a the depot in 1910. slightly different stove. All right, we will head back outdoors, see what else we can see.